Here are 8 biomarkers every fighter needs to track. The best part, you can measure all of them at home for free. I'm Simon Boretz, a med student. We are starting with your brain and nervous system. First up is heart rate variability. Think of HRV as your body's check engine light. When it's high and stable, the engine is running perfectly. But when it drops, it's a warning that your system is overloaded and a breakdown is imminent. How to track this at home? Download a free app like Pulse HRV. First thing every morning, place your finger over your phone's camera for 60 seconds and let it take your reading. What this number really means? Low HRV is a sign your nervous system has lost its adaptability. It means you cannot switch from all gas in training to all breaks for recovery, leading to burnout. Looking at my numbers, I'm in the normal range, but definitely could be better. Next is reaction time. The data shows that reaction times slower than 350 milliseconds indicate yearly neurological damage. How to track this at home? Go to website like Human Benchmark. Test yourself five times and log the average. Do this on the first of every month and you can take it as a game and compete against your sparing partners. Looking at my data, I had pretty sharp reflexes, around 200 milliseconds. Your computer always add 10 to 50 milliseconds on top, so don't forget to exclude them. What this number really means, a slower reaction time is the first sign your brain's virin is frying. That millisecond delay is the difference between slipping a punch and your brain getting scrambled. Based on my test, I am like Muhammad Ali in his prime. Finally, the most brutal brain biomarker is your cognitive score. Research shows fighters can lose cognitive points, IQ points with repeated head injuries. Uh, I'm only 43 years old. Uh, I'm an old mature. I mean, I matured all that. I mean, very fast. But at the same time, my body hasn't matured great, uh, just because of. My father's really old, my, my father's 80 years old, my grandmother's 100 years old, so my body is in great shape. This isn't just aging, it's brain damage farming. How to track this at home? Use a free online memory or processing speed test. The specific score doesn't matter as much as the trend. If your score is consistently dropping month after month, that's a major red flag. A drop in your cognitive score isn't just about memory, it's a direct measurement of your brain's processing power degradating, impacting your ability to live a normal life. Now let's talk about the number one tool for brain recovery, deep sleep. This isn't about getting 8 hours, it's about sleep architecture. Deep sleep is when your brain flushes out the neurofibrillary tangles, the tau proteins you may already know that cause CTE. How to track this at home? Use a sleep tracking app on your phone or your watch. Place your phone on your mattress and it will use its microphone and extrometer to give you an estimate of your sleep cycles. What this really means, getting less than 90 minutes of deep sleep means you are sending yourself into your next training session with yesterday's brain damage. Section 3, your nervous system's health shows up in your physical performance. First is the single leg balance. It's a direct test of your cerebellum, the part of the brain controlling movement and coordination. How to track this at home? Stand on one leg and time your performance. If you cannot hold it for 45 seconds without stumbling, your brain's wiring is compromised. Then try to level up, standing on one leg with closed eyes. This is much, much harder. Try to achieve at least 20 seconds. The meaning is pretty simple. If you cannot control your balance standing still, you have zero chance of controlling the complex, chaotic movements of a fight. And just as the balance reveals your internal wiring, our next biomarker reveals your body's structural health. Neck circumference. We must differentiate a functional muscular neck from a non-functional fat storage neck. That's critical. How to track this at home? Use a simple tape measure. Measure your neck at its widest point and then measure your waist at the navel. The goal is a stable or increase in the neck size while your waist size stays stable or decreases. Looking at the number, my neck circumference is 42 centimeters, aka 16.5 inches. And for example, Mike Tyson's neck in his prime was 50 centimeters, 20 inches wide. What this really means? A muscular neck is a knockout insurance. But a neck that grows as your waistline expands is a liability. A flashing red light for systematic inflammation that will sabotage your performance. Okay, we have covered the nervous system recovery and physical structure. 
Finally, let's talk about the engine that powers it all. Cardiovascular system. First is blood pressure and BP is my nemesis. I've been struggling with high BP for a long time. Right now I have it under control, but still it's a pretty huge topic for me. Chronic elevations above 140 over 90 are a sign of systematic breakdown from overtraining and lead to endothelial damage. How to track this at home? You have two options. The first one is you own already a blood pressure machine or most local pharmacies and supermarkets have a free blood pressure machines. Use them once a week on the same day to get a consistent reading. I track my blood pressure two times a day because as I said it's a huge topic for me and right here you can see my numbers as they are moving up and down but overall the trend is getting better. What this really means high blood pressure is like your arteries are being silently tenderized from the inside 24 7. It weakens your entire system making a cardiovascular event more likely during a weight cut or five round war. Last is your resting heart rate. A healthy athlete's RHR should be low. If yours is climbing into 70s or 80s during camp, you are not getting fitter, you are getting exhausted. How to try this at home? The moment you wake up, before you even sit up, place two fingers on your wrist, count the beats for 15 seconds and multiply by 4. In my case, I track it with my watches and as you can see, at 1 pm I had it below 60. So I'm really happy because this is a great number. While I'm editing this video, my client sent me his data and his RHR is below 40. So really, there are levels and I'm not that good. What this really means, a high resting heart rate means you are burning energy just to stay still. Energy you desperately need for recovery and performance. So now you know. Your body is sending you warning signals every single day through these eight numbers. Tracking them is the first step, but knowing what to do when a number is off, that's the difference between a long, healthy career and becoming another cautionary tale. For a small group of serious fighters, I'm opening a few spots for one-on-one -on -one coaching. This is not a course, I work with you directly to fix your specific issues. Together we will have weekly calls to strategize and adjust. Build a custom plan for your recovery, your injuries and your pain points. We will use clinical data to protect your brain and optimize your performance. And to guarantee progress, I will personally every day help you track your sleep, recovery and biometrics. I only take a few fighters at a time because this is a deep, everyday personalized partnership. If you want me in your corner, click the link in the description to apply. For everyone else, the YouTube content will always be free. In fact, I build my content schedule directly from your requests so I can solve your real problems. Please use the form below to tell me what I should break down in the next video.